Hello book people, P.T. Hilton here with a quick take on The Psychopath Test by John Ronson. John Ronson is a British reporter who writes these kind of quirky nonfiction books um, covering topics in a very kind of interesting and humorous and quirky way, but at the same time bringing up some really interesting points and delving into strange little corners of the world that uh, you might not know about. Uh, he wrote probably his most famous work is The Men Who Stare at Goats, which was made into a uh, movie with uh, George Clooney. It's about like weird military experiments into telepathy and stuff like that. This book, The Psychopath Test, is about psychopaths. Now you might be saying to yourself, PT, psychopaths do not sound like a topic that would elicit like a laugh riot uh, nonfiction book. And you are correct. There's some very serious stuff here, but also um, John Ronson looks at the stuff in such a weird, quirky, and interesting way that there are a lot of um, very clever things in here. Um, not necessarily like a laugh out loud book, but some things that, that are, he, the way he writes and the way he turns his phrase, um, gives this topic a little bit lighter bent, which is, uh, I think is very interesting because it's a topic that can obviously be very heavy. But the idea of the book is really diving into the world of diagnosing and treating psychopaths. So he goes into like, what is a psychopath? Is this even a thing that's real? Um, some There's some debate about that. And um, and then a lot of the book is based around this, this uh, thing that was devised by this one psychiatrist called the psychopath test, which is like a checklist to see where you rate on the psycho psychopathy scale and uh you know it's, it identifies some of the key characteristics of a psychopath things like um lack of empathy you know being very charming um those kinds of things one another one of the issues in the book is that like what do we do with these people who are diagnosed as psychopaths they say in the book that as much as one in a hundred people could be a psychopath um so if someone's and some of them of course are much higher functioning than others but uh someone who commits a crime and is uh, decided that they're a psychopath what do you do because every, all the research seems to indicate that it's incurable so uh you know do we just lock these people up for the rest of their lives do we do we um you know it's it's really hard it's a tough question like what do we do with these people and one of the one of the kind of backstory interesting things is uh john ronson comes in contact with this guy who's in, in a mental hospital and the guy says look i've been diagnosed as a psychopath uh, and i don't know what to do i can't get out of here they won't let me out because you know the, if i act completely normal they say oh well that proves you're a psychopath because it proves that you can see what people want you to act like and then you can mirror that behavior uh, in order to elicit a reaction so boom you're a psychopath but if i act crazy of course then they're like oh well yeah we were right you are a psychopath look at the way you're behaving so i don't know i don't know what to do i can't get out of here that no one will believe me and uh, so then he goes and talks to the doctor, and the doctor's like, yep, that's classic psychopath behavior. He's manipulating you. He's trying to plan your emotions and all that stuff. Um, so it's a really tough question. Like, identifying psychopaths is a really difficult thing. Another interesting thing that's brought up in the book is the idea of, you know, they say in general public, like, one out of 100 people are a psychopath. In prison, it's probably one, like, more like a, one in 25 people in prison are psychopaths. The other place that, according to this book at least, that there's a very high concentration of psychopaths is high up in the business world in the world of like ceos and stuff like that it's theorized that a high percentage of ceos are psychopaths um, because some of those traits that make you a psychopath um, being very charming and also um, being able to put aside empathy and not have empathy for for other people um, can, can make you very successful in the business world so it, the idea is that possibly a lot of very high help business people in the world are actually psychopaths is that true i don't know that's what the book says very interesting to think about though right and they actually do interview one ceo who is kind of famous for um taking almost taking pleasure in like in laying people off like companies that are struggling would bring him in as the ceo and he would like go around and just shut down a ton of a uh, ton of facilities and get the company back in to making a profit so very interesting interview with him and kind of chilling too actually so the psychopath test was very interesting. I it ended up giving it four stars just because it doesn't like really come to a lot of conclusions, which isn't really John Ronson's fault. I guess we can't expect him to solve this problem. It's more it asks, but it does raise a ton of very interesting questions. So I recommend it if you're at all interested in like psychopaths and what makes their mind tick. Very interesting book. Uh, so that's the psych psychopath test by John Ronson. If you do read it, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.